Uh, CM Punk. <laughs> he liked that photo. For for yeah. fo folks not watching uh, uh, on the video, uh, we're, we're using JJ Williams's uh, scrum photos from from the infamous All Out post uh, post presser there. So Sean Ross Sapp reported today, and I'm not going to read the whole thing because his you know he's got a subscription service the the Patreon, and uh, you should go subscribe to that. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, read out the whole thing here, but the idea behind his post. And again, these are things that I've heard and I have been hearing for mm -hmm. gosh for, for a little while now. But the fact that Sean has validated them, you know, is, is really good because then that means that, you know, there's there, this is what the story is. So CM Punk definitely wants to come back. Uh, he's wanted to come back for a while now. Um, and the idea that they're going to do this Saturday show, uh, whatever it's called, Andrew believe Andrew thinks it may be the, the collision show that, that they, you know, they took out that trademark. Uh, the thing that's different about this, and I also heard this is it's not going to be a six Oh five show. They want it to be in the prime time of, a Saturday night primetime show. And the way Sean described it is a soft roster split to accommodate the preferences of talent who wanted to stay separate of the particular situations. So to me, now I'm not saying that this is exactly what Sean wrote. This is what I know and what I sort of think is going on here, which is you have people who you know who who very much enjoy CM Punk and people who maybe don't enjoy CM Punk a, a, as much as others and we know who those people are and so the idea of having a split crew for these shows the brand split thing is kind of interesting though because you know Tony Khan likes to kind of zig when WWE zags right and this is WWE roster split uh, but is this the CM Punk show and the other guys are the elite show and the BCC show? Like, how is that going to work? That is interesting to me. Um, but it, it, what else What also, it tells me is that Tony Khan and probably his business partners and Warner brothers discovery, they really believe punk is worth it to create a second show. And that's why I think Rampage becomes Sunday Night Heat because I think you can't, you know, you can't have these two, these two shows like that. Like Rampage, maybe, you know, becomes Dark Elevation or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it becomes ROH. I think that would be the best thing for it is to just become ROH, ROH Rampage. Mm -hmm. But to have these two shows, whether it's going to be an A show and a B show or a one A and a one B, or if they're equal, I don't know if they're going to be. You know, SmackDown and Raw, they're both on the same network versus one being on broadcast. But it seems like it is really about making sure that they can bring Punk back and make sure that the locker room is, is OK with it and that people can work together and such. So what do you think about that part of this story, which is fairly new information, I would say? I mean, I wouldn't say it's that new because I heard about it like a week ago now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, but, uh, you, you're, but um, you're you're close to some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like you know, people who aren't that is really the first time that they heard that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think um, I I'm curious as to see how it's going to work if they go this route, of, uh, kind of like a like you said, a quote soft brand split. You're gonna get people that you know want to be on the elite side and want to be on the punk side. Um. But then you start taking away from, so that's, I think it's going to hurt both shows in many ways, I think, you know, but maybe the hope is that they can do it where they, these two brands don't cross paths. And when they come to Wembley stadium, they finally do. And it means something. So we'll see um, if they can really do that. Um, gosh, I can't imagine Dynamites is the lead show. We're gonna get the best friends. We're gonna get 
<laughs> the elite. We're gonna get all the all the wackiness on that show, and then we're gonna get serious wrestling pop hopefully on which would be great for me i mean that's why i prefer so um but it's gonna be like well we know these people kind of had this big argument and this big fight in the locker room and you know you kind of want to see omega interacted punk and maybe we'll get that in the beginning but then they'll just go their separate ways for a while and they can bring it back uh, it's very interesting and I just kind of wish they would all just work together on one show and like make Dynamite, you know, hot again, right? But I think you take Punk. If people start seeing Punk on just Saturday, I might just go watch Saturday. I think the TV is people realize, dude, like you guys needed Punk. He was our big star. You know, he drew this massive rating for Rampage and great ratings for for dynamite shows, his segments are top rated. You know, I think the, the executives are kind of maybe ones that help broker this deal. You know, like we need this guy back, fig, figure it out because, you know, he is their top star, our top star. He's our, our big, our big player. And I wonder, so I mentioned that, that June 21st show it is in Chicago at wind trust. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if, you know, that is the comeback date for Punk. I wonder if that's the date that he shows up and and he's back uh, on that date. Um, you have, gosh, you got two months and you got a whole pay-per-view in between to set the... Two uh, pay-per-views, right? Uh, Forbidden Door 2? When is Forbidden Door? It's usually in June. I just don't know when it when. I know it's in Toronto see. this year. I heard uh, I, I actually I think I heard Forbidden... a heartbreak kid's gonna be in Toronto for that possibly. Oh no way. I think Forbidden Door is literally the pay-per-view after this dynamite. Oh, okay, okay. Got I it. think it. yeah. And I think it's smart, of course, to bring back punk in Chicago if he's gonna be the guy on this Saturday show. I'm guessing you don't want him to be a heel, you want him to be a baby face, so you don't want to debut him in you know LA, you know, in buck country to get booed so you you know have him come back and his in his home home state chicago gets that big hero's reception and then he moves on to uh he called it collision possibly as a tv show that's what andrew thinks it's going to be called or that's that's just what he's calling it right now mm -hmm. so oh, it's uh that's why yeah i think it's or, a good movie. or maybe collision is some sort of reference to the brands unsplitting or the brands coming together, the collision of, I don't know. Yeah. They're going to have some really fiery promos on that, on that, on that episode of dynamite between punk and the elite. And we're all like, Oh man, this is great. And they're like, <laughs> you go your side. I'm going to go on my side, you know? And they're like, ah, oh, you know, and, and who knows? May, maybe the soft brand split or the soft roster split, maybe it's not going to be as definitive. Maybe it's going to be sometimes guys are on this show and sometimes guys are on this show, but it just gives them the opportunity mm -hmm. to not always have them in the same locker room in the same arena. So yeah, you know, there's, I, there's, there's a bunch of things that they could do in order to do that. Or, you know, maybe it's just to get the fans to think that when these guys are in the same arena, that all hell's going to break loose. I know that's got to be some of it too. Yeah. And I just hope that with this soft brand split, people get opportunities, you know, to be on television that kind of been a push to the YouTube show. And, you know, so, so we'll see if anyone can shine that. My God, can Abaddon not just do the Halloween show every year? <laughs> do, do you really want to see Abaddon? No, weekly? I don't, but I'm just saying, okay. Nothing like against we, Abaddon either. She's we have a very Young unique. sighting this 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 week. We did Milwaukee. I think the last time there in Milwaukee, he was the open challenger for the TNT title or something like that. What was this guy doing this last time? <laughs> Poor Silas Young. That's nah, all right. He did a good job getting destroyed out there. 